Hello everyone, my name is Olga and I'm living abroad for seven years now. Together with my husband Rene, we lived one year in Turkey and now spent another year in the name Vietnam. In this video, I will show you what kind of nightlife you can expect to find in the name and talk about bar scams happening in Vietnam. Also at the end, I will show you the bar where me and Rene met four years ago. Nightlife in Vietnam can have many shapes and sizes and one of the popular attractions after sunset starting 9 p.m. is to go see dragon breathing fire and water at the dragon bridge. Don't be surprised to see crowds of people, both locals and tourists. And definitely watch out for your belongings as pickpocketing does happen in the name. Personally, I never felt afraid for my personal safety or heard about violence towards tourists here. So overall, I would say that it's quite safe here, just use common sense when you're in a crowded place and don't flash out your expensive phone and put it in your backpack like I did in Hanoi once and crowds always attract pickpockets, just be mindful of that. Another going out option in the name is joining a meetup at one of the bars. And there is a meetup literally for everyone. For example, this one was the opening of a new bar across the river and also a business startup meetup. The funny part about it is when I came there, I went by myself uh, with a sneaky plan to film a little for this video. And then I saw that mostly it's uh, men at the meetup and I felt a bit intimidated as a woman by myself. So I was just looking around and saw a table where there was one man and about four women at the table. So basically I joined them and I asked if they are for the meetup and it turned out that they're not. They are just uh, here visiting from Hoi An because they know someone who works at the bar and they came to support. But it turned out a very nice crowd and people, uh, for mostly foreigners, who live here for a year or even up to five years. So that just goes to show that uh, even if you're scared to go to a meetup, I would say go for it and there will be someone who you will be fine talking to and there's not really anything to be intimidated about. Coming to the name and want to know all the best places to go out? Hotels and apartments to stay so you can be close to the beach and nightlife? Good places to eat out? Get my guide where I share my personal top 5 in every category, including places to see, where to rent a bike, exchange money and so much more. You will also get access to my personal Google Maps list with more than 700 locations all over Vietnam and the name already pinned. To make sure you will get the information you need, as a bonus, I'm also giving you access to our private chat where you can ask follow-up questions. For example, what are the current social events in the city and how do I make friends? I can help you with that. There are limited spots available at the current price. So I hope you will join our community and you will find the link in the description. For the new years, we went to a rooftop bar and there are plenty to choose from. This one even has a pool and, of course, an amazing view on the river, mountains and the city. This summer we also had fireworks festival in the name which was happening on the weekends for several weeks and many locals and tourists and foreigners who stay here and live in the name. We were all gathering together and watching it. And as you can see, the city never goes dark 
and walking by the river in the city center is uh, an attraction of its own. If you go to the beach, there is a selection of beach bars and some of them have a DJ, craft beer, cocktails, BBQ and generally the atmosphere there is quite relaxed. In a touristy neighborhood, you will find many relaxed bars and social events often happening starting Thursdays. So even if you're traveling solo, the name is one of the places where it's really easy to make new friends from all over the world. Business events are happening too, although of course there are not as many as in Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh. But there are some startups, marketing, crypto, there is a community for almost uh, every interest here. Many small corner bars serving cheap beers. And this is the bar where I met my husband Renee four years ago and at that time I was living in Bangkok and went for a short holiday to Da Nang and at one of the social events I made a local Vietnamese friend and a couple days later she took me to this bar. And this bar is kind of famous for open mic nights where everyone just can grab a microphone and sing and play. So the atmosphere is quite relaxed and chill and there was a small puppy that was so cute everyone was trying to pet him and I was making a video of it as usual and I'm just making videos uh, all the time so before we even got to know each other Renee was in my video with that puppy so we got talking and basically the rest is history but I also promised to talk about bar scams and just to make it clear, I haven't heard about anyone being scammed in this bar and in the name in general, not in bars like this. But I do hear that in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, if you go to famous crowded bar streets, scams do happen. And actually in my video about scams in Turkey, which is now the most watched on my channel with more than 500,000 views, I do talk about a very similar scam in Istanbul. But there it's a bit different, it starts with a local man approaching you and in Vietnam I hear it starts with a woman that you met on a dating app or just walking along the bar street. This is quite an old scam and it has been going on for quite some time, so which proves that it's effective to this day. So you meet a woman on a dating app or just walking along the bar street and she really wants to go to a particular bar and you think, well, she's a local, she knows best and you want to be nice to her, so you do agree to go there. And there you start drinking together, the drinks keep coming, you get more drunk and in the end the bill is huge and sometimes it can be hundreds of US dollars and you basically never paid attention to how much things cost in this bar in the first place and you just trusted uh, this girl. You might think I will just refuse to pay but usually then the security comes and you are not left with many choices. And at that moment, you probably start understanding that this, uh, your new friend, this girl is not really your friend and she is not here for you. She is working for the bar, so she would make you spend uh, a lot of money. And yes, drinking in Vietnam can be really cheap, especially if you drink just beers. 
but uh, some other drinks might be pricier and you might actually not pay attention to how much things cost. The prices might be inflated. And as I said, this kind of scam operates in many countries. This information you can take with you anywhere in the world, not just Vietnam. It's a quite common way to rip off a tourist, so scammers everywhere in the world are using a trick like that. Again, I will also repeat that in the name I haven't heard of this happening. I personally never heard anyone talking that it happened to them here. And this happens mostly to men. And what about safety for women who go out? And as a woman, I feel quite safe at night in the name. But I would still recommend common sense things, like don't accept drinks if you don't see them being poured, or watch for your valuables in a crowded place, and maybe have a sober friend to watch over you, so you don't end up with a guy who is trying to take advantage of you being drunk. And th this advice, again, is not specific to Vietnam, this is just common sense for going out. So I hope I didn't scare you off from going out in the name by talking about all these scams. And to me, they are just common sense and things to be aware of when you go party in any city. And my personal opinion, the name is one of the safer places to go out to relax and have fun.